Welcome to part three, computer fundamentals. Now we are going to start to get into the meat and bones of this course. We begin by talking about the terminal. Are you experienced enough to remember the old DOS computers? For those of you who aren't, I can reveal that computers didn't used to have a graphic OS, but instead used to be a black screen where you typed in plain text to communicate with the computer and its programs. This is very much like the terminal. It is a text-based interface that exists in every operating system as a program and is usually integrated in coding programs as well. What exactly is the terminal? The terminal, also known as a terminal emulator or console emulator, is a software program that provides a graphical interface for accessing a computer's command line interface, CLI. A CLI is a text-based user interface that allows users to interact with a computer program or operating system by typing commands into a terminal or command prompt. In a CLI, users input commands as text strings, and the computer system responds with text-based output. The terminal allows you to interact with your computer's operating system using text-based commands. It provides a way to execute commands, run programs, and manage files and directories. By typing commands in the terminal, you can access files, install programs, modify programs, and obtain information about various aspects of the system. There are different terminals that Mac OS, Windows, and Linux use. For example, there is Mac OS Terminal. On Windows, you can use the command prompt, or you can use PowerShell as your terminal. Now let's talk about the difference between the terminal and the shell. The terminal. A terminal is the program or software that provides the user interface for interacting with the operating system through command line input and output. It's the window or console where you type your commands and receive the output. Examples of terminal applications include Mac's terminal and Windows command prompt or PowerShell. The shell. A shell is a command line interpreter, which is a program that takes your typed commands and executes them. It is a software layer that sits between the operating system and the user. The shell reads your input, interprets the commands, and interacts with the operating system to perform the requested actions. Some popular shell programs include Bash, Born Again Shell, and ZSH, ZShell, now let's discuss the differences between Bash and Git Bash. Bash. Bash is one of the most widely used shells and is the default shell on many Unix-based operating systems. Unix is an operating system that serves as the foundation for various Unix-like systems, including Linux and Mac. Bash is a powerful and feature-rich shell that provides a broad range of capabilities such as utilities for managing files and processes. It is one of the most widely used shells, a powerful and feature-rich shell that provides a broad range of capabilities, such as utilities for managing files and processes. Git Bash is essentially Bash bundled with Git for Windows. It includes Git, which we will talk about further on, and provides a Bash-like command line interface on Windows. Git Bash is a specific terminal application that provides a Unix-like command line interface on Windows systems that also allows for running Git commands and utilizing Bash shell features. It combines the power of Git, a popular version control system, with the powerful Bash shell, making it easier to work with Git repositories in a terminal that looks similar for Mac, Windows, and Linux users. ZSH is another popular shell that offers advanced features and customization options beyond what Bash provides. It includes features such as extensive completion capabilities, spelling correction, customizable prompts, and plugin support. ZSH is known for its configurability and is a preferred choice for many power users who want a highly customizable shell environment. It is also much more difficult to get started with this has been a presentation about the terminal and the shell, as has taken us through our first introduction to the practical aspects of computer science. Thank you for listening.
The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time. <laughs>